commonly used transformations. In this video, I am going to explain about basic RDD transformations. By the end of this video, you will know how to apply the basic RDD transformations to RDD. Map, Filter, and Flat Map are some of the basic RDD transformations. Map is a transformation that takes a function and applies the function to each element of the input RDD. The result of the function will become the value of each element in the resultant RDD. Say if input RDD contains values 1 to 4, then map transformation to square the values will return 1, 4, 9, 16 as the resultant RDD. Here the square function is applied to each element of the input RDD. Filter is a transformation that returns a new RDD with only the elements that passes the filter condition. Say if input RDD contains values 1 to 3, then applying transformation to filter elements that are not 1 will return only 2 and 3 as the resultant RDD. Flat map. Flat map is the transformation that takes a function and applies the function to each elements of the RDD as in map function. The difference is that flat map will return multiple values for each element in the source RDD. Say if input RDD contains the values hello world and how are you, then applying split function to flat map transformation will return an array of words like hello world how are you since the flat map transformation returns multiple values for each element there are five elements in the resultant rdd whereas input rdd has only two elements to recollect if we apply the split function to map transformation instead of flat map transformation then we will get the values as the highlighted ones here the words will be split into multiple words. However, the words belonging to an element of source RDD is still a single element in the resultant RDD. Let's try these transformation examples in SparkShell. First, let us see some examples using Scala. This is the example for map transformation. Here the numbers RDD is a RDD that is created with values 1 to 4. Then we apply map transformation to it. Function literal to square the numbers is passed to the map transformation. Collect action is used to retrieve all elements of the RDD and it is assigned to squared numbers RDD. Here you go. It contains the square values of each element present in source RDD as expected. Here is the example for filter transformation. Here the numbers RDD is a RDD that is created with values 1 to 3. Then we apply filter transformation to it. Function to filter out all ones is passed to the filter transformation. Resultant RDD contains all those elements that pass the filter condition. Filtered numbers RDD contains values 2 and 3 as expected. Let's try flat map transformation to split the strings into individual words. We create lines RDD as a RDD that contains two strings. Hello world and how are you? Then we apply flat map transformation to it. 
function to split strings based on spaces as the delimiter is passed to the flat map transformation. Flat map transformation will make sure to apply the split function to each string elements in the RDD. Resultant words RDD contains complete list of elements separated by commas. Let's try the same transformation examples in Python. Let's try map transformation using Python. This is similar to Scala code except some syntax differences. Here we use lambda expressions to pass it to map transformation. The result of elements are put into resultant squared numbers RDD. Let's use for loop to print the elements of the squared numbers RDD. And here you got the squared values of each element. Here is the filter transformation using Python. Numbers RDD contains values 1 to 3. Lambda expression to filter out values that are not 1 is passed to the map transformation. Filtered numbers RDD contains values 2 and 3 as expected. Let's use flat map transformation example in Python. Lines RDD is created with two string elements. Lambda expressions to split the strings is passed to flat map transformation. The resultant words RDD contains the string elements split into individual words. In this video, we learned about how to apply basic RDD transformations like filter, map, and flat map. In the next video, we will learn about some of the mathematical RDD transformations.